Yeah. Hello everybody, welcome to some more um, side games that are it's still technically the first locals of uh, Ops 22. We're playing some side games afterwards, so that's pretty fun. I like um, the most recent, some behind the scenes knowledge here, the most recently recorded game was um, Warriors of Darkness vs. Sevenwall, which to my understanding did not go well for Steve. It did not go well for Warriors of Darkness then. Um, but we want to show off a deck, that, a, a match style anyway, that we think War Lightning my FFA deck has a decent matchup into some more. Mm -hmm. It's somewhat positive at this moment in time, but we've only we've got less than fifteen games tested, so it's hard to tell. Um, I want to show that off, and yeah, good luck, have fun. Yeah, we are aggressively testing at the moment to try and see what the, the kind of best decks in the format are, early as it may be. And um, I, I really do feel like uh, War Lightning. I, I think Garuda in particular has a really good, um, yes, a good effect on the Wall Seven deck, but uh, has the major downside as. Many things of 8Ks with entry effects of Amaterasu, which is the only summon that <laughs> yeah. Wall 7 plays. And I think that's what balances the matchup rather than it being completely one sided. Mm -hmm. If it was a 5CB 9K, even, you wouldn't feel amazing about it, but you would essentially have played a card that said your opponent discards three cards a lot of the time. Um, but yeah, with the tempo of water, I, we, it's strong. Because we played Garuda before and it was more aggro or mm. floor to the ground lightningless, and when that got Amaterasu, you just lost. And yeah, so we, we decided to make us go first. Yeah. Yeah, uh, we did the, the dice roll. Um, I'm going to keep this hand yeah, no, and draw. Um, but yeah, we've, we discovered that if you if it go Amateur Acid, you just lost from there because you've lost all your tempo. Um, whereas this version of the deck, I'm specifically running almost 50% EX the experts so that I can stand a chance. If I do get an early good at Amateur Acid, I can hit enough EX experts and just sneak back into the game that way. Uh, and that's just unfortunate. Game, the way the game is right now, I think. A lot of my testing has been very forward heavy when I'm trying to, uh, you know, kind of almost like just out tempo the water, the water lightning, and have left myself quite open for the Garuda. Um, so I think this game, not to kind of give away too much to my opponent here, but I think I'm going to try play a little bit more of a mid range game and try and have a little bit more control aspects. I think yeah, I might end up doing the same. Obviously, I'll just respond to whatever you play because. Mm. As, I'm the reactive deck here, you're the proactive deck here, I would say. Yeah, I, um, I would say typically, yeah. Yeah, yeah. sometimes not, I mean, we've seen, the amount of times I played forwards out because I've had to or because I've decided to and then you just go, Axe Star Alpha, no search and please, and I'm like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I lose. I'll pass there. No worries. Um, so we're going to play Raijin and Lena. The best opening that um, you can ever have. I am discarding Tankless and Seeker. I'd be very, very curious as well uh, in this deck, or you know, kind of against Wall Seven, um, or just this match. This match up happening in best of three when you're able to see lists. I definitely feel like backups like your Moody being able to just have the Amaterasu in hand, like knowing that they're only out uh, to your kind of overextension would be the Garuda. Mm -hmm. um, might change the, the matchup a little bit, but we'll see. Anyway, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll try to talk a little less for now and see if we can actually get some cards played on the field. I'm liking these more inquisitive chatting games, not just local games are playing out, it's actually the purpose behind this testing. Yeah. I think we get rid of all these three. Mm -hmm. We play out our wall set. Dating today, aren't we? Yes. Sounds good. Okay. It's pretty good. We've, we've hit some cards. Zeromus is very good. So this, yeah. this has to be the most busted two to get. Because even though you're thinking to yourself, okay, well, Axtar isn't going to be able to do anything on entry to forwards, yeah. it, it is incredible still to be able to have that um, threat every turn. Mm -hmm. But, again, I'm kind of considering whether I have something a bit more long term on the plan. You know I'm in Lightning, so if I close Limit Break, kill the Setzer before you get any resolve from it, that might not be great. True, very true. Um, after, yeah, to be honest, Zero Miss has the, the most. Zero Miss is a nut. Oh, sure. damn it. Yeah. I think I'm just going to demand it. Demand the uh, answer? Demand the answer, yeah. So I'll freeze the. The Garuda CP order. 
Yeah, they grew the CV, yeah, probably. Yeah. I'll just show you what's in, what's in here anyway, because it and might yeah. make you happy or yeah, sad. Is. So, and no other effects. Uh, so two Gilgamesh are gone. Uh, one Warrior of Light, one El Cid, two Rufus are gone, one Rug. King of Mysia. Now, what's scary is I know that there are four cost walls in there, uh, in your hand. Yeah. So I can't that. even actually like, two play two targeted rug. removal in yeah. any sort of way. Or I can, but I need to be. Like yeah, so I've got seven calls yeah. in bin. Yeah. I will pass turn left. I don't I, it's past I think my unless it's, it's, yeah, I just got a stomach the hits. Off, uh, stomach the loss in CP I'm gonna be getting. Uh, yeah. So that's good combat then. Yep. Uh, swim with zero is first and freeze the water CP then. Yeah, yeah. The only unique CP this time. Build a draw card. EX is uh, definitely it's something that Michael touched on earlier. Very important. I think it's already done its job anyway, but Three. you know in 15 off. And stealing a forward. Yeah, and stealing a forward. Um, scary, um, scary stuff. Yeah. So... Yeah, I get the backup. I think we can just pass there. I don't like that I have to pass there, but I think it's called... Lior. Considering a Lior there. Lior, don't touch the water. I think, gonna, I think I'm actually going to pitch the Warrior of Light to get the Moody down and get the Amateur Ass here in hand. Uh, yeah, yeah. So another, we've got Fire CP in hand anyway. Yeah. So, I'll pass there. Yep. Uh, that's a problem. Six CP Levy and one with the Leonora. Uh huh. It's so another very useful tool. Is the support. The reason Borum is in this deck is partially because I think the, the pain I have is better. Um, the six CP with this one one. And that running Borum makes it better. The other one in hand. Playable in the first place to be honest. But. Yeah, ninety percent of the reason is because it actually it makes it asks this deck questions. It doesn't always have the answer to. It. Yeah, which is good for for, for zero CP. Yeah, which yeah, is yeah. exactly the kind of uh, rate. Unfortunately, wall seven like, demands is a zero CP answer. Mm -hmm. So with um, Don, yeah. yes, but uh, I game. managed to. Uh, you see, also here, Michael's developing backups like very quickly, and as much as I do threaten pressure, my, uh, uh, realistically, well. water and with lightning in particular backup, really do. Yeah, talk about the uh, results. So it's I have eight. eighteen cards in bin. Um, what water and lightning demand is that you don't go to three damage, and you don't go to five damage, and uh, unfortunately, a lot of the time, I'm going to be passing turn with those damage specials. Hit. Nine thousand X star. No. Yeah. Um, oh, my apologies. I missed discarded there. Uh, I'm supposed to do that so I can leave the water CP open so I can also play the oh, okay. Turn off the Xenomus. Right. Can't because I'm not. It's not targetable yet. Pass. I have, I have, I have made mistakes. <laughs> Sorry, everyone. Sorry, everyone. Here's how this deck can do well into this. Uh, it works if your opponent doesn't just misplay, uh, or you just don't like misplay, like like a like an MF, we shall say. <laughs> uh, let's play Faris. Sure. Um, you want to do on the stack? No. 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 Uh, okay. Uh, so let's deal a uh, total of. So 1k done to the board, yeah? Yep. And you're happy for the others to go into the stack? Yeah. Right. So let's just... Just double stack on the, the board. Tip target axe star. Mm -hmm. Yep. Let's just do that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and... The great thing uh, is, he doesn't even yep. need your opponent to have a forward. He can take control of first. himself. <laughs> It's just one for the yeah. uh, That's the wrong swing order, by the way. Yeah, yeah. Could, could um, call an Odin or whatever being good now. Yeah, uh, hold on. I think here. Um, we've got to do the lightning backup. I feel like your lightning recovery is better than your water at the moment. So let's just say Raijin, I guess. Mm -hmm. And then there's the Lena special. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Right, just pass there. No water light attack? No, I'm not going to damage back. <laughs> Damn it. Damn. I want to. Yeah. Mm. 
No. I think that this game is actually really demonstrating more than anything else is that the, the, the yeah. water lightning is not a free win by any stretch. It's a very it's difficult matchup. Yeah. It is very thought intensive. Mm -hmm. It will tire you out. If you're thinking of things that are a comp, like you're going to do well with it if you practice with it, but oh my gosh, will you be tired? Yeah, I mean, if I'd done the porn correctly there, your Xenomus attack wouldn't be as free as it was because I would have an 8k blocker. Yep. Um, but I'm a big silly. Okay. So, really good. Uh, yeah, uh, keep, when you're doing playtesting as well, support to keep those sorts of things in mind. Yeah. It's good if you have the ability to look back and think, oh, that's a clear sure. mistake. But okay. one of the, I was going to say, one of the things that I think is extra clear is like, obviously, yeah, we are just doing friendlies very, very much because you're just like, oh, that's what your intention was. Oh, let's just do that. I feel like you learn the best when you let the mistake resolve because that mistake will stay in your brain better than if you were to just undo it and it leaves your mind. I think it's personality, what you like or how you learn. Personally, not for me. And also, if I recognize a mistake and I'm like oh, do you know what because if I make a mistake and that dooms a game then there's no point playing the rest of the game out because you and, and, and for testing anyway for testing sake yes right. I, I would say like if it's more of a training aspect you're wanting to do something to, to not let yourself make mistakes again then I would recommend it then you know but like you said if you're wanting to just see how a deck performs not you as a player yeah, yeah, performs yeah. then yeah I, I agree attempt to break Zedemus yeah. Adia, I'm gonna still kill the. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, I'm killing that Zedemus. Uh, Zedemus is dying because I, otherwise I will. And then two I guess he's Yeah, so I've known you had. What was you discarded for Ami there? Uh, it was, uh, uh, and, uh, and yeah, it was. No guilt for this. I really wish I had a hold of Yeah, and uh, then I'll kill Zedemus. Oh, more, yeah, more than. <laughs> more, more than. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. There have been a few times today where people have said, like, oh, I've got enough, and they were wrong. <laughs> See, that's why I leave put piles of five. Uh, the human brain, this is an interesting fact, human brain, more often than not, can recognise piles of five without thinking at all. You can just see a pile of five things and go, that's five. But once you get to six, it becomes more difficult. It's not always true for things like this. I still need to count it because it's a bit unclear. It's hard to tell that those five things are, but... To the LV cost. Yep. the CP cost. And... I would like to dull the hooded man. Have that good combat? Uh, good combat. Mm -hmm. I'd like to spin with that star target uh, idea and deal with yeah, it. Take it here. What? Sure. Yeah. It's going to die to the yeah. farthest attack anyway, so. Uh, yeah. And honestly, the temptation now is to to stop. Yep. I, I can't leave you this turn, and giving you damage 5 is good for you and bad for me. Mm -hmm. On you go. Oh, you have no idea. <laughs> Stop by the alpha no. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I have made that mistake too many times personally to make yeah. it again. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, and those yet to decide. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Let's see for... May I? You may. Restrictor? I don't want to be seeing you. Uh, no. I'll get the idea though. So everything of three or less dies. Idea? Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah. You, you, you get to stop one. <laughs> <laughs> Enough CP for that, huh? I'll see you soon. Combat. Uh -huh. Now, unfortunately, what are like? Special? I think I I just lose. I just lose. But I still need to do it. Mm. Attempt to break the warrior light. And then before any blocks, I'm gonna just by we're just that by eight turns. Maybe incorrect. Yeah, it was probably supposed to be Yak Star, but it's fine. Do I just block from the trade? I wonder. Maybe it's a threatening card. That's the thing. Like, yeah, in the experts, I draw a card. I feel like it's it's recurring value versus just swinging, and I feel like we're never bringing you to five, and we're not getting you to seven. So yeah, I'll, I'll take it. Yep. Cool. Uh, I probably wasn't supposed to be the fattest there, but. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Twenty in there. 
All right. The good thing about having Axe Star on field is the fact that a lot of LPs cost three. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But then you put me to damage five when you attack. <laughs> I do. I do. It's not ideal. It is not. Ooh. Oh, that's the nice. yeah. yeah. Still, yeah. singers. Do I want to do, do you have the right What's annoying about Seven Wall? Why you maybe heard some of us being a bit more dumber about it than you maybe <laughs> want from your... Like, is it, see if Michael had the Wall 7 special there? I just lost. It's so uninteractable. <laughs> and I might... I I'll probably still lose here, but at least there's more of a game happening. More of my mistakes are the reason I'm losing, you know? It's... I can already know it's also supposed to kill the axe starter and not the fans. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we'll play Leo I think and draw. It's doing more than just I feel like you've kind of forced me to have to put you to damage 5. Mm. Yeah, you only got one card, don't you? Hmm? I think you only got one card, but that's alright. Yep, we've got both to be safe. Oh, you also need to. Seven cards? Yeah, you got one of these. GG, don't you? Oh my god. And then if, if, if I really, really wanted to, I could pay that, get a light, get a cloud. Yeah, yeah, let's just deal with it. Uh, yeah, what do you do? It's like, the only way yep. you win against Swing that is Mr. Dragonlord. Yeah, yeah. what would it mean? Don't have Alpha on hand, as I've seen one go to here, so unless I get like a thank it or something. It's insane, like, just, just leave it, like, yeah, you, literally you leave it What I would have thought you were going to have done, though, was at the end of one of your turns, leaving Sissonet open and using her counter to don, uh, don again. Maybe, so you're, you're facing a, a bunch of weenies, but the weenies are still It doesn't matter, still it doesn't matter though, it's like, you want to stop me from using uh, Don yeah, as, as quick as possible. Mm -hmm. well, yeah, because every time you're drawing two cards, it's too close the to last the last available card. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Break the deck. Mm -hmm. That deck Break wins on how fast it goes. If you Pass turn out. It's getting a complicated Do you play uh, zone here. My two, my, my LB that's still there. My damage was used can't quite see, sorry. Because break. I intend to run normally. Like, this we brought. Because we wanted to see how it was going to run. But I've got either like the um, Suarez or the Bottom's actually a really, really good draw here. Because I thought, I wondered about it. Yeah, I wondered about it. Um, just because it has so many EX points. <laughs> Yes, yes, you see the deck's cracking. There's flaws to the deck. <laughs> it's war. This, this deck was designed to try and exploit those flaws while still maintaining a good deck as well. Um, it's not always possible, and I do think this deck still can and will win very consistently. But I think I just do that. <laughs> Another axe star. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Targeting bottom. Uh, uh, Del freeze non two cost and problem? deploy. I, it, so I don't know. It's so uh, So if you resolve the damage first, I can't choose what you deploy. I can't. Oh yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. I will turn axe star off for what it matters. Sure. Sure. Yeah. Um, uh, so you have first. <laughs> can I see your big one? I'll go first. Five again. Yeah, I will absolutely. So Arania is there. I'm pretty sure there's not more than one of those. There's only one. And Alphano has a one yeah. there. Thankly, it's also a choice. If I get Leo out, then Thankly can also choose Alphano. Yeah, I, I, I can't put you to five. I actually cannot put you to five. Um, <laughs> That's why you're an Alphano. It's so good. It also, it says draw to discard. It fills your bin for the FF8 stuff. Yeah. Comment below if you want a deck tech talk in this video. I'll pull Steve into it. So I went one, two for Edgar. Sir. Oh, and then Edgar yeah. deploys that. Okay. 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 
That's past there, then. Yeah, yeah, leave your I think the thing that's really kind of helping me here is that there's not a lot of pressure coming back. We're getting close to like milling you out here. But also very strong cards. Uh, the idea? Mm hmm. Like mm -hmm. so? Sure. Touch everything to get the idea, yeah. Multimissia? Multimissia. Target yeah. your next star. And then shuffle. Oh, yeah. Uh, and then. Yeah. Sure. Combat? Yep. Yeah. When in doubt, Leo out. Mm hmm. Yeah. And then, yeah, attack. Uh, pass. I'm gonna. <laughs> Unfortunately, I lose to Gilgamesh FME. Uh, I know he's got none it. of them. Oh, excellent! Yeah, excellent. Porom dying did not help that, and I could have kept Odin in the hand. That maybe was what I was supposed to do. Said the ultimate, yeah. I, again, another misplay there, but it seems like a good play here because I can almost threaten Lethal now. What? There's two. There's two lightning in Ben. Yes, it's too late in so I can threaten him for almost next turn. Mm. Maybe. Oh, either I, I, I have enough three. I can just play a Leo out and then suddenly Axe starts swinging to do 9000, so it's. Yeah, draw, draw for the Gilga. Hmm. I guess it's not quite lethal because. I've got one block in that tick too. Sure. my best bet here because it draws. Oh, Ward. Yeah. Ward can kill a Seaford. It's pretty big. That's pretty big. It's pretty big. Where my next card was. <laughs> <laughs> All three of them are in deck. Is that Seaford dying then? Uh, yeah, it will be. Yeah. I think I need the kind of big ish blocker. Mm -hmm. Seaford's a 3CB three, a three for uh, Arkstar, so I'm a little like. Eh. I'm feel good about that. And yeah, that's already good. Ooh. Yeah, sure. And a 9k in case. Pretty nice. I mean, you can sort of turn sideways, I suppose. Yes. Not particularly fussed about that. I will gain. Uh, Doll. Gain a cigar. Yep. Yeah. That's, that's the next mod. Just a cigar. Mod the cigar. The rare white. Man. You got another kid? Uh, I heard of man. Do you? Yeah, yeah, that's cool. I think you can tell what my next one's going to be. Fire. Come up. Yep. Yep. 3000. Once you've played, don't trip them. <laughs> then I draw. Oh, I want another seven to try and put me into it. So yeah, yeah, yeah. That seems smart, I think. That might be my only. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the only ones I've got in there, but it's the only one that makes any sense. Yeah, yeah. So it has to be that one. Yeah, sure. uh, I can't put you to damage 5, unfortunately. 3, sorry. Because then I activate your Faris. Uh, may I have a yeah. And see how many Far I have gone. 1, <laughs> 2, 3. All well, 3, so I can put you to damage 3. In Paris thing. Um, yeah, I'll attack off this year. Yeah. It's one of the hack cloud. Three in hand. Tres, senor. Good in hand. But that's another damage to you, actually. Swiss. Yeah, Swiss. That one I'm less scared of. Yeah. To cast. Might as well take the fifth because. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, 
sir. Sure. This seems like a perfectly reasonable thing to do. Pass. Play Glacier, was that? Mm -hmm. Oi, oi, oi. It's such an interesting matchup because often both feel close to winning when they eventually lose, and it's just a, a draw either way. Yeah, it's first here or there. I do a cyan, but because I've got the other warrior light, but I can't use that effectively. Because I could have got to five otherwise, because it's a light card I took. Uh, I can't get to five. Which yeah. would be pretty good to be able to do nine kid to your whole board. That would have been terrifying, I would have hit it. Would've been, it would have been pretty good, but now I just have to roll the dice. Yeah. Roll the dice? Yeah, nine. Yeah. There you go. Uh, yeah, okay. Scholar. Alpha Doe. Oh, that can search you, yeah. Samurai. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, for... <laughs> right. I feel like one of them's got to be Alphano. Yeah, so you got to be a, to a scholar because I've got to get the draw card. Uh, and it really gives you it so you can play it next turn after there is such a thing. So I think what I do is I take the draw and just go first. Yeah, yes. Sure. And then if it's Greg or a nice card, then you win. <laughs> or maybe. <laughs> maybe not win, we'll see. Do you get Greg? Yeah. Excellent. But you, I think, probably gonna have like Kukulain or something. But I have to play to it. Listen, we're the only, one of the only Celtic uh, speaking, well, no, not speaking, but Celtic card game influences. We must pronounce Kukulain correctly. Kukulain, I'm so sorry. Yeah, I can't believe this. Um, the Hound of Ulster. Mm. I like to go to combat. Yeah, you see. Sure. I have this. <laughs> I'm uh, I'll attack with Gilgamesh FFE. Uh, I'll the light. Swing and drop. I think not. Good call on it. Right, because you want to be in damage. I want to be in damage. Five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see. Um, that's we'll get a Shinji. <laughs> Horrifying on so many levels. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I wonder. Do I just leave it there? Just like on things. Axler doesn't kill anything directly yet, but you've got. If you didn't have Thanku and stuff like. Shinju for Madamego. Target Vizzy. Sure. Vizzy, uh, there are four. Yep, uh, two. Sure. That's a guess. I feel like any more attacks are just more close to dead. Yeah, sure. Um, yeah. Go to combat. In combat before attacks. Uh -huh. uh, so uh, yeah, sure. Thank you. Uh, target Alphanum. Uh, yeah. yeah. Alphanum's going to target Alba. Draw two. Oh! Not discard. Attack with Anki do. Not going to be casting that. Yeah, I don't feel like losing that way is a good idea. Um, Alba into his own ability. Uh, yep. Break Greg. Sure. I don't know. It's all, it's all on you. And like push through all the forwards, I guess. So, so these can attack. attack. Yeah. And yeah. Yeah. So I'm just yeah. Gonna yeah. yeah, and uh, I'll both give us a taste. And then Which I'll is play pretty busted. Irvin. Uh, who did you block yeah. on? Uh, For some, the, yeah, some friends. I don't know if it really matters. There's too many to just be able to do it. Well, yeah, yeah, well, well, I, I guess probably those, though, and it stops Greg from being. Yes, yeah. Naughty. Well, there's, I'll just remove the Greg, and then there's no more Greg. Yeah, true. And Farai, I guess. Greg and three Faris. Greg and three Faris. Right. If that's all right. Yeah, and then I will combat. I don't have any recursion. Yeah. I don't think I do, right? Attack, act, start. Shoot. Warrior of Light for... 
12,000? Yeah. 1, 2, 3, 4. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that was unfortunate. But yeah, I'll, I'll attack Axtar for 12,000. Okay. Alright. Um, yeah. yeah. Lock on the tie against yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, then Arvin removing those things that we said for 11,000 for um, half an hour. Yep. Uh, Lives Cloud. Don't want to trade into either. Ward. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, mm -hmm. so Leo, why not? It'll trade. Yeah, it's been on the field since yeah. time one. <laughs> Alba. Yeah. There's no need to attack, it just literally draws me a card. Hidden man. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, so close. As you can see, it's not an easy one, Jim. It's not. It's not. But it is a very good matchup against it. It's with, that, with in mind that I made some misplays. Mm -hmm. yeah. A few that we've noted, and probably more that you have noticed. Let me know down below. I do think that there was a possibility as well of if I had decided to um, just hedge the bets that I would draw the Gilgamesh eventually. Uh, it was unfortunate that it, it gave me the spook because I got two of them in damage. Um, but if I just decided to get the last Warrior of Light that was in there um, to be able to hold a special, it meant it was a lot less interactable when the time came. But I think I still might have just died. Then. No, maybe not though. I think putting you to five and then, then being Googling. Yeah, yeah. Cullen. Yes, was, yes. Uh, From what I hear. Was probably the, for, the death knell there. Yes, for anyone who is wondering, yes, the pronunciation is Kukon. He is an Irish myth, the Hound of Ulster. But for whatever reason, in FF, he's a bag monster or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's it's like, like that. Oogie Boogie from um, yeah. Night Before, Before Christmas. Christmas. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, thank you very much. I think we'll, that was quite a long game already. Yeah. Yeah. See, we've got you plenty of content. Um, but yes, uh, thank you very much for listening, everyone. Hope you've enjoyed. And we'll see you at competition soon. Sounds good. Bye.